Well, what's up guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and it is going to be a glorious day here in Oklahoma because, well, I've got on a hoodie right now, but the uh, the weather guessers that totally jacked up all that big snowstorm and blizzard, well, now they're predicting we're going to hit like 72 degrees today. I'm thinking that's going to mean like sunscreen and sunburns if we're not careful. So, hoodies won't last long, but we're gonna get to uh, we're gonna get to work this morning on the fencing project. I gotta go pick up my brother, roll his butt out of bed. He's not a morning person, but uh, need to go pick him up, and then we're gonna get back here. We've got a few more posts to set in concrete, and then we've got to start welding in all of our our H braces and our support posts, stretch posts, all that stuff for the fence, so we can start getting this fence moving along a little bit. It, I mean, I. I'm sure most of you have probably been having the same problem we have because it seems like everyone I watch on YouTube is dealing with rain and mud. So I know I'm not the only one that's dealing with that stuff, but uh, we got to get to work. So got the welder all, got the oil checked, got it fuel, fueled up, hooked up to the Kubota sidekick, and we're fixing to go get to work this morning if I can roll my brother out of bed. So anyways, come on along with us. You know, most people would wear leather gloves. Not my brother. He's the real smart kind. He's got on cotton gloves. And guess what? I got a pair of leather gloves laying right here. He won't wear them. Yeah, I'm gonna put them on. Here. Yeah, he's gonna put them on, he said.
Well, that's as far as we're gonna make it today. Got several of the braces welded in here. Houston's back here playing, went and picked him up. And had to go run some errands and totally forgot that we didn't end the video, but you can kind of see what we got going on now. We cut the tops off of all the posts so our corner posts aren't seven feet, eight feet up in the air. So we cut them off at yeah. five feet and we'll have a H brace there and a down brace over there, kind of like back here. Where Houston's standing is gonna be a gate. Kind of move a little farther away. Where Houston's at is gonna be a gate eventually. Kind of an opening there. And then back here, you can see we got our braces in. It's kind of a long spread in between those two, but typically that would be about an eight foot uh, distance. We had to go a little farther because we didn't want just a ginormous gate there. And got, an, got a brace welded in here and our down brace there that goes and ties in to the existing fence over there. Do what? Somebody's here. Who do you think it is? West. Weston. Weston's here? Yeah. Sure enough. Let's see if he's going to say anything. What's up, teenager? What's up? That's about all you got to say? Yeah. Don't run over Gemma. So anyways, you kind of get the gist of what we're doing. Got our braces in. As I said in a previous video, I much, much prefer steel pipe for our corner post, stretch post, braces, and all that stuff. Come out here with our welder that we bought earlier. Well, I guess it's last year now. And, uh, and weld them all in. You can use wood, don't get me wrong. Wood works. There's a lot of people use old railroad ties or old uh, telephone poles. They work great. I prefer steel pipe and as you saw <laughs> earlier in the video my brother and I were welding together a bunch of small pieces so what we use for our, our vertical posts that went in the ground is two and seven eighths inch pipe and all of our cross braces are two and three eighths inch pipe it's a little smaller but I had a ton of just scrap pipe laying around in that two and three eighths so we just welded pieces together you can kind of see right here maybe see where two joints were two pieces were welded together there and up there we just welded actually that was three pieces and made one long enough so um, it works it's not perfect could have gone out and bought all new pipe but that's expensive and we had a lot of scrap pipe laying around so we're gonna use up what we had here on the property already which just makes sense to me guys shameless plug here I don't I don't I don't I don't think you guys understand. GP Rents, Great Plains Kubota, gave us this um, Kubota sidekick. This is the Kubota RTV XG850 sidekick. And that thing is an animal around here. I know I talk about uh, the Kubota dealership, Great Plains, Kubota, and GP Rents all the time. This thing has been just a tremendous asset here on our farm for us. Hook the welder up behind it and just get out here and go. Don't have to worry about, you know, we've, like I said earlier, we've had all this rain and this just allows me to have a work machine out here instead of my pickup because you, you guys, you guys don't know my brother very well. He is just, uh, he's like a bear in a china closet. He'll destroy anything. He just, just, I'm afraid if I have my pickup out here, we'd end up with a piece of pipe rammed into the side or something. This is just a perfect machine that's designed for work and play. I am thoroughly impressed with this little Kubota sidekick. I absolutely love it. We've had it for, oh, a month or so now and have used it for, for everything from checking trail cameras and just out, just recreational driving on the property to work. Kubota UTVs, or RTVs as they call them at Kubota, are typically known for farm work. They're a farm work vehicle. They've been a diesel tractor engine. This one is a new um, a new line of RTV that Kubota's come out with. It's kind of a crossover. Anyways, we're gonna do some review videos on this thing in the future, hopefully probably pretty soon. It's just been really muddy and nasty and I didn't want to do that. <laughs> kind of want to clean it up and make it look good. But anyways, this thing has been awesome. And having that welder here on our property, we didn't have to use it during the snowstorm Told you guys we had everything ready to go in case we lost power. We didn't lose power. Never even came close. But we were ready if we did. So we're dual purpose. Got it for welding. 
can also use it to power our house in an emergency if we lost power so anyways guys i'm gonna quit rambling that's all i've got for today got quite a bit of work done we still have a lot of welding to do but that's just part of it we'll get the fence built i want to do it right the first time so we're not out here in a few years having to do it again but anyways guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it y'all have a great day and as always we'll see you on the next video